everyone, today I've got another camera gimbal to review, the Gusson Moser Air 2. So I want to talk about my reviews first. Tools like this, these are meant to be in the hands of someone with talent who can make something beautiful with them. Not sitting on my shelf getting dusty, I have friends that help me shoot, or I show up and just hand someone a camera and offer a beer. But they're going to be able to get the best use out of something like this. The Japanese have a great word, motainai. It means a sense of regret that something is being wasted. I feel this when I see nice tools going unused, just used for decoration or for face for the owner, when someone out there could really use it to make something wonderful. It's it is a little offensive, the idea of that waste. It bothers me, and I thought since maybe it bothers you also, I will explain that I don't hoard this stuff. The reason I accepted this gimbal from Gusson as a review unit is so we could have some fun seeing if amateurs could get something out of it, but also so that I could then loan it to my friends in local universities, real artists who can use it and knit it. The last gimbal I reviewed, the Mosa Mini went to my friend Julie Sage, an amazing American teenager who vlogs about science and technology on her YouTube channel, Seven Sage Labs. Please show your support and subscribe to her channel, the link is in the description box. I do the same for my 3D printers. You don't see me with a world of 3D printers? I don't need a world of 3D printers, the max I can use is two. So for the rest after I'm done reviewing them, I find them homes with local Chinese who are creative but don't really have the budget for it. So we are going to have, for, have our fun. I'm going to give you my hilariously uninformed opinion of professional photo gear I have no business with building. And then I'm going to go put this bad boy in the hands of young, hungry creatives here in Shenzhen who are hopefully one day going to do something about the sad state of the fields we tried to make for export. I know, don't even get me started. From the short brother, Xiu Zi Heng Dai, you know the short brother, to this. But be patient, I think we can do it. And I want to help a tiny, tiny bit if I can. So on the left is the Moser Air Cross. If you watch my channel, you've seen a ton of footage shoot shot with this. I honestly think this gimbal and the Sony A6500 are the best investment for any YouTube creator looking to do a lot of shooting on the run. I hand this combo to friends with no video experience and still get useful footage. It's super easy to use, minimal controls, however, it's not very portable and neither is the Air 2 and there's something you need to plan for if you, like me, you're often trying to shoot quickly before a big audience forms. I vouch for this combo as an awesome investment for YouTube creator. It's easy to use and shoot beautiful footage. Now on the right is the new Air 2. It is a beast. This is a serious bit of kit. You buy this if you neither have skills or you intend to level up and have those skills. It has a lot of functionality and is designed to handle a large camera. So add strong arms to that list because loaded up is quite heavy. If you watch guys like Brandon Lee, he's the guy to learn from. Those are the kind of skills you want to really take advantage of a gimbal like this. But here, let's turn it on and have a look at what we've got.
See? Here we go. So this is pretty cool feature that the Air 2 has. The Air Cross does not. It's called uh, follow focus. Normally when I shoot, I set a camera on autofocus and just cut out anything that's blurry. And the Sony A6500 has pretty good autofocus. So that basically works. But with this, you can use the large knob, knob on the handle to set the focus. You can do all that shallow depth of field stuff. You do however need to be strong enough to hold the handle with one hand and turn the knob with the other, which I'm not. My main concern and probably the only thing I'm qualified to test is if an amateur buys this, will they be stuck with a paperweight if they don't have pro level skills yet? Does it work well enough on auto level everything to be usable? So tonight I'm going to a local craft brewing festival and while I'm diligently consuming as much hard cider as I can, in the name of work, I am going to pass this rig around to my friends and see how it handles. Okay, last night was fun. Five or six people tried out the gimbal. So that gives you an idea of what kind of results you can expect out of the box with limited experience. On the other hand, if you know what you're doing, you're going to have a blast and do amazing things. I would like to thank Gusson for sending me this review unit. I promise it will be put to good use. My links are in the description box. And as for the rest of you, if you can sponsor, it's $5 a month. If cash is tight, that's totally okay. Seriously, some of us don't notice $5. Some of us do. Most of my life, I've been on the holy shit, 40 quiet? Are you crazy? Side of line. So I totally get it. But if you can like, subscribe, most importantly, tell your friends, repost. It's a huge help and really appreciate it. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.